welcome back to the channel. This is No Luck Trucking. I'm Matt, and we just dropped our trailer. That was that was a good trailer. I like that one. We had it for a little while. It it was uh, tires were good. Everything was good. After uh, I guess a license plate bulb had burnt out, but that got replaced in Laredo. Uh, so then we so we're at Roadrunner in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. Right? Yeah. It's uh, it's off of 71, uh, pretty close to like 71 and 80, I think. Does that sound right? 80 is not too far away. Yeah, that's, I guess it'd be too. That's like the, the closest points that We're I can. Between Akron and Cleveland. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't expect everyone to know where Cuyahoga Falls is, but uh, so we're at a Roadrunner. Uh, we're doing an overnight run, like an expedited run for them. So we just hooked up to the trailer that we are going to be running. And this, this is a freshie. Oh, yeah. Like, doesn't look like it has many uh, scratches on it. Is that where we're going? Yeah, I just didn't want to just start talking. It's okay. If you watch trucking vlogs, you hear trucking things. Um, yeah, so we're, we're taking this to uh, pretty much Atlanta, Please Georgia. Direct, highlighted route. They can call it, um, Decatur. Well, the funny thing is, we have done a similar run to this before where I just kept saying Atlanta because it was basically Atlanta. And they're like, yeah, but what actual city are you going to? And it was probably Decatur. And this time I say Decatur, they say Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, thing. you can never win. But uh, we're backed up. We're about 30 minutes before, 30 minutes to an hour. It depends on, I don't know, what, what resource you go by. We were told seven uh, the start of the. Uh, Employment window, so it's 6:30. They are not loading it, haven't loaded, whatever. Uh, I peek my head in between the dock and the trailer, and the door is down, and there's a chain up. So I don't know where they're at with actually like loading it, but uh, we're gonna sit here for a little while. She has my phone number, so she's gonna call me when it's actually loaded, which is good, so we don't have to keep bothering them. And they they have a restroom inside also, and we could probably use it, unlike the last place. Uh, actually, the place before last, now. So, this is going to be a fun one. Um, I don't know, day of when we got to do these expedited stuff, I always, I'm like, why did we book this? Money, that's why we booked this. That's why we booked two drop and hooks back yeah, that's true. So even this fresh trailer, we can't even savor it because we're just dropping it tomorrow. And then... It'll be a nice ride through the night. We're driving up to Charlotte and taking another expedited run to... Pocono? Pocono Summit. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're in it for the expedited stuff. So we got to squeeze a nap in there sometime. Liz is going to probably nap for the next couple hours while I'm driving because uh, it's about 720 miles so I got to get some miles down and then she's going to take over and do the rest and then in the morning like I said we'll try to steal a nap somewhere and then we have to drive up and pick up our next uh, trailer our next load so this one's going to be a Liz vlog mostly because uh, once we take out of here and I stop that first time we're switching and I will try my best to sleep we're loaded time to roll it's like uh, 33,000 pounds we moved the tandems and uh, let's get it rolling through the night So, I made it, made it through the night, um, did 340 miles so far, another 172 until we get to our delivery. Um, it's a pretty, pretty long drive, but I uh, was able to talk to 
um, a good friend on Discord most of the night. So shout out to him for <laughs> staying up all night with me. We are on, gosh, is this still 75? We are at a rest area. I think we're on 75 still. Yep, 75 south. So it is currently seven in the morning. Got about 10 minutes left on my 30 minute break. And then um, probably just gonna hit whatever traffic I'm gonna hit this morning and just get there when we can get there. Gotta eat some breakfast. But other than that, it's a pretty uneventful night. Just trying to make it there so then we can make it somewhere to sleep. We made it! We made it. So much Atlanta traffic. But we made it here. And these people were by far the nicest <laughs> receiving people that I have met in a very long time. Yes, especially for Atlanta. <laughs> um, yeah, they were very nice. So the yard hostler took our trailer. He said, go ahead and drop it where you are. Um, so that was nice too. And he said that the Lancer trailers are out on the road. So we're gonna go see what we can find. All the traffic, but we made it. I have a couple hours, a little less than a couple hours left on my clock. So we will see how far I can get us towards the next load and we are going to find out what kind of trailers they have here. Old, old, and old. But that's to be expected and since our next load is a drop and hook, it doesn't really matter. And even on that final trailer, I mean if we have to do more drop hooks it's whatever. Kind of sad to drop that uh 22 that we had because it did ride really well it was nice but the name of the game right now is doing dropping hooks so we're gonna see should i face it towards them uh, so these are all very close together so we're gonna see if we can fit in in front of the first one so that one's probably uh 2010 this one I think is probably maybe a 17, maybe. And the one that we think we can get to, let's see, I mean, it looks, looks about right. Um, was a, I think, I don't remember. It's old, they're all old. So we're gonna see if we can squeeze in behind this other guy and get this trailer. here with our trusty 2012 steed. Just gotta make it till FedEx tomorrow. But legitimately everything does look alright on it. It's just old. So now we had some very specific directions coming in here so I'm gonna have to figure out following those back out. I guess this area I don't know, it has a lot of old infrastructure, a lot of truck restricted roads. Turn left on Clinton Springs Road. That's fun, then but take the first again, right. they were so nice. <laughs> it's so nice to encounter people who are so nice. So, A plus for that. We are pulling up to the Petro in Arnsville, Georgia, which is the same exit that there is a Landstar terminal at. But we don't really have any need to go over there. So I think we're just going to go to the Petro. Let's see. It's been a while since I've been to this one. In but line, this is a Petro stopping centers on the right. Uh, this was as far as I dared drive on what time I had left. Let's see, trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Definitely, definitely the most of my drive clock that I have used since we came to Landstar, I want to say. But, felt good. I know we're exhausted. I know it was a run through the night. But, 
you know, a sense of uh, accomplishment doing that. Feels good that we got it done. Now we can spend the rest of the day eating, showering, sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. Lots of sleeping. And we'll be prepared to pick up our next load tomorrow morning. So now I just need to figure out where we're going to park, but just looking for an easy pull through. to end this one. Long drive, but it was a long night. Sorry, I forgot to update during the night, but I was just trying to get there. And again, can't thank our friend Sozo enough for staying up all night with me. <laughs> we talked on Discord for so long. It was, it was good though. It was fun. Every, every now and then I have to do an overnight run uh, just to get it out of my system. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.